Hey guys, it's Di from Be Mommy with Style, and today I have a chatty vlog for you guys, one that I have been thinking about doing for a really super long time, actually since the girls were about toddlers, and I thought how neat would it be to do that video as the girls got a little bit older and reflect back on what I would or would not buy again as a parent of a baby. Just let me head it off because I know making baby videos, everyone's like, oh, are you pregnant? No, I'm not. But I thought it was great as a parent of um older child so my girls are four and six now it's completely out of the baby stage completely out of the toddler stage to be able to reflect and look back on and say what do i think was worth the money what would i definitely 100 percent buy again and what could i probably go back and skip and again keep in mind this is just my answers from my point of view it may be totally different from person to person, especially you live in a different region, a different type of lifestyle. We're suburban, so we're driving in the car everywhere. Um, we're not going down sidewalks a lot with strollers and things like that. So this is what I 100% would buy again. And then a list of things I probably would maybe change my mind on. So here we go. So baby items I definitely would purchase again. I have done so many reviews on this. I put it first on my list. It was the first thing in my mind and kind of one of the things that made me want to do this video. We're literally still using it at Disney World. It is the Brytax Be Ready Stroller. So you guys have seen this in so many videos, like subtly, even if I'm not mentioning it. It's a stroller we always use at Disney World. I've had this since Bella was about nine or ten months old. We got it shortly after I found out I was pregnant with Natalie and we knew that we would need a double. And the cool thing about it is you can use it as a single and then add the second seat on later, which is exactly what I did. It was literally released before right. I purchased it and um, I got like one of the first models that were out and I love that thing. Absolutely would purchase it again. Worth every penny and I think the price has actually come down considerably since when I purchased it. So it's even quite reasonable now on the price. So the Brightex Be Ready Stroller definitely would purchase again. The second item I would definitely purchase and I purchased one for Isabella and we actually use them simultaneously with each girl for a little while when they were in the crib they each had their own was an angel camera monitor. This is another thing that I have videos on so if you want to look up the individual reviews definitely do that down below. Um, but the angel camera monitor is a monitor that sits underneath the mattress and some people like flip out because they're like, they think it's like microwave waves. It's not how it works. Um, but it is a sensor that senses the slightest movement. And in this case, what it's trying to sense is breathing. Um, it gives you the peace of mind at the middle of the night and it can sense the breathing and um, it makes a little tick noise if you want it to. And we use this with both kids. I feel like it gave me such peace of mind in the middle of the night and I could get a better night's sleep knowing that I had that kind of just extra precaution. And we use that for the entire time they're in the cribs, not even when they were just newborns, but the entire time they're in cribs and definitely would purchase those again. I would highly recommend getting the two pad version that has a pad that goes on either side of the crib and they go underneath the mattress. So there's no wires or anything in the actual area that the baby is in. It's all underneath the mattress. Um, but the two pad version definitely has fewer false alarms than the single pad version. The next thing I would definitely recommend, and this is for the infant newborn stage, are the Halo sleep sacks. I love those things. They were awesome. Um, you just put the baby in there, zip them up, and they felt all snug and cozily. But this was after, they have the swaddle versions, which I had those as well, where you could swaddle them really quickly and it Velcroed. Um, but they have the non-swaddle versions too. So it's like when you want to use a blanket, we didn't do any blankets in the crib. Um, when you want maybe that extra layer, but you're not using a blanket, you can put them in the Halo sleep sack and it's supposed to be a safer alternative. Definitely would purchase those again. The other thing I would definitely purchase, we use the Tommy Tippy sippy cups and also the bottles. Love them, thought they were great and definitely would use the Tommy Tippy brand again. Another thing that I really, really loved and I went through a number of different diaper bags. I went through, I had a coach one, I had tons of like just like the baby brands you'd find it like babies are rust the coach one the coach ones are all super heavy i will just tell you that like the all most designer bags gucci coach whatever they're going to be really heavy it just was not practical i'm one of those people where you know i appreciate beauty and function so if the function is starting to outweigh what beauty you get 
then I will choose the function. I ended up with a super cute diaper bag from JJ Cole that I used for the majority of the time that I needed a diaper bag. Loved it. Super lightweight, super easy to clean, very inexpensive actually as well. Um, and it just worked great. So I would definitely buy that JJ Cole diaper bag again and I would buy fewer diaper bags for sure overall. I would just get that one. Um, up and up diapers and wipes are something that I would definitely use again. I used up and up, I settled on eventually using up and up diapers with both kids. Again, this is something I have a review on. I'll try to remember to link all these down below. Um, but the up and up wipes, I literally still buy those to this day for Natalie who is four and is Isabella sometimes too. After dinner, if they've got stuff all over their face, their hands, I still have baby wipes in my house and in a drawer in my kitchen, there are baby wipes and they are the up and up brand. So I literally still buy those. So yes, check, I would buy those again. Um, the other thing, thinking back, I loved bouncers. I don't think I necessarily had a specific one that I would recommend. I mean, a bouncer is a bouncer is a bouncer. Um, but I liked the bouncers that we had. It was just kind of a neat alternative. And in one baby, I think it was Isabella, she would use her feet and she would get it bouncing. It was the cutest thing ever. I wish I was vlog. I really, really, guys, I wish I would have been vlogging when Bella was a baby. I feel like I missed out on so much because I didn't start vlogging until Natalie was about six months old vlogging on this channel. Until Natalie was six months old and Bella was already a toddler. So I feel like I missed all those memories in there. But at least I started eventually, right? Um, the last thing on my absolutely would buy, highly recommend, love this. I don't know what version they're on now, but we loved the Rainforest Jumperoo. The thing was awesome. Both kids used it. I ended up giving it to one of my mom friends when we lived in Illinois when she was having a baby, and we had kind of already grown out of it. Love the Jumperoo. Absolutely. The kids just, they love it. They love being in the bouncing. It's got all the toys. It can hang out um, where they can work their legs out and jump. It just seemed like such a fun thing. Like they always seemed like they were having so much fun. I was like, I want one too. So definitely would purchase. It was by Fisher Price, the Rainforest Jumperoo again. So on to what I would maybe not buy again. My other side of the list. So these are the things that we got and I was kind of like, uh, I don't really know. So this first one's gonna be probably a hot point of contention, but I don't know that I would actually buy a boppy. Huh? Don't throw anything at me. So I know those are super, super popular. I didn't end up breastfeeding um, for like very long at all. I just decided it was not for us. It was not gonna work. Um, so obviously if you do that long term, that's probably helpful. Um, you know, the boppy or whatever. I don't know. The only thing I ever really thought it was cute for was propping the kids up for pictures, to be quite honest with you. Um, and even then, I usually found other situations that worked better. Um, but I don't know. I mean, they're not that expensive, so you could always get one and try it. Most people love them. I don't know that I would purchase one, if should I ever have another kid. Um, the other thing that I probably, if I could go back and do it again, I would not purchase and I would not consider purchasing, I don't think in the future, are convertible cribs. So you're pregnant, you're going to have your first child, and you're thinking, oh, this is great, I will get something that can grow with them and it'll be so magical and all this money it'll save. And how neat will it be for them to have the bed that they were a baby on? So convertible cribs are the cribs that extend and they, they go into toddler beds, which that part's great. That part... No qualms there. But then I got these bed that it, beds that extended into full side versions of the beds. You have to get extension rails for the kits. They don't usually come with it. So for that, it was another $100 per bed. And so we extended the beds. But the thing about kids, my kids in particular, is that they chew on things. And when they're babies, they slobber on things. So the crib sides that we have, so imagine you take off the sides and then you're left with the headboard and the footboard, and that's what makes the longer bed. They're not in the greatest condition, which doesn't, you know, for kids, they don't have to have like the newest, prettiest like thing, but it's just, um, Bella's is maybe in a little bit better condition than Natalie's, um, but it's just not something I would buy again because I now, it's been long enough, it's been six years with Bella, four years with Natalie, I would prefer like a lighter color, I went with like regular, you know, wood. It just is one of those things where the practicality of being able to use something that long, maybe it works for some people, but for me, I don't know that I would do it again. 
Um, the next thing, multiple play yards, question mark, question yard. So <laughs> when Bella was a baby, um, you know, everyone in my family is like, you know, make sure you sleep when the baby sleeps, which is great advice, by the way. I can never take naps during the daytime, so it didn't work for me, but you guys should do it. Um, make sure you sleep when the baby sleeps and don't be afraid to put them down. So put them in the play yard when you're making dinner and, um, you know, give them some toys and don't be afraid to give them the independent time, which I also think is great advice. Um, because for all intents and purposes, one of them more than the other, they're fairly independent and they can play on their own for a pretty decent amount of time. Um, but I kind of went overkill, I think, at the beginning and, um, or somebody, I don't know, we got gifted a lot of them, I don't know. We ended up with tons of play yards, tons and tons of play yards, which they're great because they fold down and you can travel, but we ended up with like, I don't know, a play yard upstairs, a play yard downstairs, one in storage. We ended up with play yards out the wazoo and you, you really only need one. So that was the only thing I was going to say there. Would I recommend them? Absolutely. I think they're a great, um, you know, contain for, you know, to know that they're like safe and they can sleep in them when you travel and all this sort of thing. But you don't need like six of them, I'll tell you that. The last thing on my probably wouldn't buy again was the Bumbo. So this is kind of another one of those like hot button items. It seems like it was one of those things where everyone ends up with one but then no one ever really knows what to do with it. And um, the Bumbo, I don't know, we didn't really use it enough, I don't think, to justify it. We got some funny pictures of it on my husband's head. But other than that, I don't think I would buy a Bumbo again. Um, so other than that, the last thing that I have, which wasn't a long list, the thing I would buy a ton more of were soft rattle toys. So we had a couple that the kids really loved and they would gnaw on everything. But I think I would definitely get more of those. Looking back, you know, they had a couple, like, specific ones that they loved, but you know, why not a few more? <laughs> so that is my baby items. I definitely would buy again. I definitely wanted to make sure to share those because those were kind of like right off the top. I know I would definitely um, purchase all these again and I'll try to list them all down below. If I have any specific reviews of anything, I'll try to list it down below. Remind me if I forget it. Um, and then the ones I wouldn't buy again, you know, it's maybe not 100%, but those are just the things that occurred to me like would it be really worth spending the money on again? No, probably not. What I would probably do over with the cribs is just get a crib, maybe one that tr goes into like a toddler bed, but then when it's time to move them into a larger bed, just go look for like a new dedicated bedroom set. So that way when they're transitioning into that big girl bed, it's just a brand new big girl bed and it's a big thing. So that is it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions down below and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.